Yep, she's still broken. Waiting for some parts. They're not here yet. They're supposed to come in today. They're not coming in until next week, so let's just take the FZ. The problem with riding her bike is that the suspension is set up for her. We did all the preload adjustments for her and her weight. So for me, it's so pogoey. Like, it needs way more preload for my fat ass. I could quickly adjust it to me and then put it back for her, but ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> all right, boys and girls, let's have a little chat together. We don't do this all too much, but I think it's time. Long story short was Snowcats a sellout. On the last couple of videos, I've had sponsored posts in each of them, and I want to tell you why. So many of you know the problem with mainstream media attacking YouTube as a platform that is safe to advertise on. What happened was, long story short, there's been a bunch of YouTubers under fire by Wall Street Journal and other outlets, Huffington Post, whatever, saying, look, your ads and what you advertise against cannot be trusted. Here are these examples. Most of them were out of context. Some of it was correct. It should not be on YouTube. I'm not going to mention what it was because YouTube finds those words and demonetizes your video, which means you don't get any money for posting your video. So if you guys don't know, mainstream media attacked YouTube and they it actually worked. It said, well, McDonald's, Coke, Pepsi, these big, big brands with big, big ad deals, your ads that display in front of these videos are bad. That means you support these videos and you support these ideals, that means you are bad. So advertisers don't want to be associated with that content and they say, well, we're not bad and they remove their ads from YouTube. People are so stupid to think that an ad played before a video means that advertiser believes in that. So for example, if I post a video about topic A and the ad that played before that video say it's brand X, people think brand X endorses topic A. No, <laughs> it's just an ad to play for that person for them to watch so they can hopefully make a sale from or drive click-through rates or, or whatever it is the advertiser wants. Spandex wearing granola muncher butt cheeks. So first of all, people are stupid in my opinion. I never think a brand supports someone in that way if it's done like that. I do think a brand supports something in that way if they explicitly for example, endorse it. So I get why advertisers have to cut ties with certain artists like Rick Ross over his certain very um, bad lyrics and Reebok pulled their brand deal with him because he was talking about some very weird stuff, which it's, it's true, I, I get that, right? Or for example, Chris Brown, when he had that huge blow up in the media about him and Rihanna, right? Advertisers pull away from Chris Brown because that's a negative image, I get that. But to think that a video is purposely advertised on and they believe it, it's just silly. Anyways, so back to me being a sellout. So because this ad revenue apocalypse, that means there's less advertisers on YouTube, which means there's less ads displayed around my videos and I get less of a cut because there's no, there's no ads being played, right? So instead of sitting there and going on YouTube and bitching about it to everyone and boo-hoo, boo-hoo me, I decided to go out there and do something about it and I sell some of my own ads. So in a few videos this past month, you will have seen some ads on my videos. I just hit a rock in the mid corner there and that felt funny. You'll see some ads on my videos and as a result, uh, helps me stay afloat, right? And to be called a sellout is annoying because if I sat there and I bitched about not getting paid enough, it's we'll get a real job, Snowcat, or, or go ahead and do something about don't whine there and whatever so you damned if you do that and then I go and do something about it and not bitch about it to you guys just to keep the channel afloat because it costs money to do this believe it or not snow can't you're riding bikes getting a real job it's just uh, 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 so then I go and do something about it and I get pitched out for doing that like that's one thing that I've taken away from YouTube and being an online personality I can't stand the amount of comments you get that are so ignorant. If you do A, people tell you to do B. If you do B, people tell you to do A. You'll never ever win. You'll never win, ever, with YouTube comments. 
there's always someone, there's always an opinion, there's always something, right? So long story short, guys, I don't want to make this too much of a video, but this is a job for me. Creating content is a job. It is work. It takes time out of my day. That time I can't be spent doing what else I do in my life to make money. I'm spending time on this. YouTubing is a lot of work. If I stop doing YouTube as a full-time job and do my other job as full-time, there'll be once a week videos. It'll go back to the way it was years ago. When people like the, the more daily uploads and content and it helped me also grow. So if you don't think YouTube's a job or there's a content there or you're gonna sit there on your keyboard and bitch about free content for you to enjoy, there's no paywall, there's no Netflix cost, there's no monthly fee, there's no, um, I don't have anything stopping you from watching this video for free. No premium channel, there's no locker, there's nothing like that. I serve content out for free and I really love having a fan base that wants to watch it. I love it. I love meeting all of you. My meetups I try and talk to everyone, take selfies with. You know, I am blessed to have a, a following and people want to watch my content. You know, that's truly a blessing. If you asked me five years ago if I was a YouTuber, I'd be like, no, that's stupid. And here I am living the dream. So I love the content that I make. It's about motorcycles, the compilations, the dirt biking, the experience I've had. I'm hashtag blessed right and what really bugs me is that it's free you're not paying for anything there's no refund there's nothing i just i just can't help it like look at these look at these handlebars we're just driving around like this like how do you drive like that <laughs> anyways that's the next video we have to talk about harleys that'll be a fun video anyways what i was saying was before i got distracted by this oh, real bad was the fact that I am blessed to have a following. I'm blessed to be able to make YouTube videos and I'm really happy that you guys come back every day to watch them. It really helps me out. I really appreciate that. But when I do it for free, you're not paying for anything. There's nothing, nothing out of your way besides your time, which is I know very valuable. You're not paying for them. You're just watching free content. Say you're on the bathroom, take it a poop reading some YouTube comments, I call it. Say you're at the doctor's office. Say you're just chilling with your mom. Your mom's taking forever to shop or whatever it is. It's great free content for you to enjoy. That's why I love YouTube. And if you have a spare moment, you're waiting for something to happen, I hop on YouTube and I love watching videos. I also help out the creators. I don't skip ads. I watch all ads. I don't have ad block turned on on my computers. So I watch all the ads because the creator gets a small piece of that ad that Google sold, right? So long story short, yes, it kind of bugged me how many people called me a sellout. It's like, sorry guys, I'm, I'm running a business. It costs money to ride bikes. It costs money to maintain them. It costs money to put gas in them. It costs money for the software. I pay every month from Adobe. It's $60 Canadian. The memory cards, the amount of hard drives I buy, I buy four terabytes every couple of months. That's 300 bucks. There's so much stuff I have to purchase for the channel to make YouTube videos. And it's not free. It is not free. It's a lot of work, a lot of time, and it's expensive. And, you know, I want to get paid for that. I want to get paid for my time so I can keep on doing it. So please, if I have a few sponsored videos in the future, do me and my advertisers a huge favor. Just, just, just watch the ad, just enjoy it, and then watch my free content afterwards. That's all I ask. I'm not asking for much. You know, I don't shove merchandise in every single video down your throat. I have some merchandise that I sell hardly any of because I don't promote it. If you guys want to support my channel and uh, buy some merchandise, I always try to respond to those messages. Hey man, bought your shirt. I really appreciate that. I also really appreciate when people uh, have my Patreon. I have a few Patreons that support me each month. I really appreciate that. And I just try not to promote it or plug it too much because I don't want it to be about you giving me money. All I want you to do is just come back, comment, interact with me, watch my videos, come to a meetup, and just enjoy the community that we have on my channel. That's what I want. And that's why when people ask me, why don't you plug your merch more to help you out? I don't want to. I don't want to have every single video have a pop-up or a, a beginning saying, buy my merch or whatever. I just, it's just not me. I, I want you guys to not feel pressured into buying my merchandise because it's not about that. You know, I'm doing what I love and I really appreciate you guys watching. So I don't want to get all soppy here. But guys, just let, let's just chill on the, on the YouTube sellout comments. Lots of other YouTubes like Phil DeFranco and Linus Tech Tips, they have three to four ads in every single video. I've done what, five or six sponsored posts over the last five years? So give me a break guys, this is all, all I ask. I don't wanna rant too, too much here because it's such a beautiful day, but 
it's just on my mind I have to make this video so like I said super appreciate you guys coming back every video watching it liking it sharing it with your friends smashing that like button I don't even ask for that even though it helps apparently in the YouTube algorithm is to like every video so that really helps too but I don't ask for that I just want you guys to feel not forced I don't want to tell you guys what to do I want you just to watch the videos and enjoy it but then again you know of course there's always some comment people don't like the non bad driver compilations they only like the trip series and the uh, driving new bikes some people only like compilations they hate everything else I just try to make something for everyone okay guys that's enough for this rant thank you so much for understanding why I do what I do and uh, we'll see you in the next video peace Another another comment that kind of bugged me too was the I'm gonna unsubscribe. Such a knee-jerk reaction to something. Like, I'm allowed to make one or two videos you may not like, but still you should like the overall content, you know? Like, such a knee-jerk reaction because subscribers know it bugs the content creator. It's like the biggest thing you could do is to unsubscribe from that big subscriber number, right? And it's it just like, come on, cheat us with respect, we'll cheat you with respect too. People always make spicy comments. If you're nice to me, I'm nice back to you. If you're mean to me, I'm mean back to you. It's like, oh, so that you're mean. It's like, I'm talking to you the same way you talk to me. You know, we're humans too. But anyways, with the, the subscribe comment is, you know, if you're gonna unsubscribe that quickly because of I'm trying to stay afloat and give you free content, it's like, come on, buddy. Like, you shouldn't even subscribe in the first place. But that's just my two cents on that one you know I don't just unsubscribe because someone made one bad video or one poor choice it's just like I unsubscribe from you haha -ha. I hope your channel dies it's like come on take a chill pill it's nice 335 I like that car nice car too anyways just one more thing to add there on the sell out rant it's always funny when I borrow her vehicles, they just so happen to be empty. Is that funny? Jessica.